Greetings everyone, Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to day three of the 31. Must hear bands of the 21st century. That's right, we're doing this each and every day throughout this month of August. My 31 picks for the bands that have come out since the year 2000 that are, I, I feel, must hear bands. And again, these are bands who play music in the genres that we cover here on the channel. So all forms of metal, progressive metal, power metal, classic heavy metal, death metal, black metal, thrash metal, right? That sort of thing. Hard rock, classic rock, progressive rock, and jazz fusion. I'm going to draw from that pool. Again, uh, as I've stated already in the first couple episodes, these are not necessarily going to be chart-topping bands or, you know, the mainstream bands. This, you know, a lot of this type of stuff is not really in the mainstream anymore, right? But they're, they're great bands and they're worth your attention. So we're going to dedicate this whole month to fairly new bands who have been around over the last 22 years. Uh, and I'm going to basically stick with bands who have released albums in the year 2000 and onwards. Uh, I'm also... I'll do it at the end, but I'm not going to talk about any bands that have formed in the last 22 years, but are comprised of guys or ladies who were in other bands, you know, big bands before, veterans who have been around the block for a bit. I'm trying to kind of just center on newish bands here. That, that this is the, their first, you know, real, uh, real bands they formed, and here they are, right? So uh, today, a band who uh, burst on the scene in the early 2000s. I think they formed in 2001, but they started releasing uh, stuff a couple years later. I guess you would call them a kind of psychedelic stoner rock band. Elements of doom, elements of 70s hard rock, elements of blues rock. They're from San Diego, California. I'm talking about Earthless. All right, you've heard me talk about them uh, on the channel a bit over the last couple of months. They've got a handful of studio albums. They've got some great live albums. This is a band uh, mostly instrumental. Uh, they released an album called Black Heaven uh, back in 2018 that has mostly vocals on it. But for the most part, all of their other albums are pretty much instrumental. Uh, you got uh, From the Ages 2013. You got, uh, what do we got here? Rhythms from a Cosmic Sky, which came out, uh, what year did this come out? In 2007, all right. You got, uh, you know, Sonic Prayer, 2005. Perhaps my favorite album by them is their latest one, Night Parade of 100 Demons, which is on Nuclear Blast Records. Uh, these guys are absolutely terrific. I mean, just you got a, an amazing, amazing guitar player, one of my favorite new guitar players on the scene, Isaiah Mitchell, who's just absolutely terrific. You've got a great bass player in Mike Edgington and a fantastic drummer, Mario Rubalcaba, right? Together, these three guys, I've said it before, I'll say it again, imagine Jimi Hendrix jamming with the rhythm section from Black Sabbath, Bill Ward, and Geezer Butler. That's what you get here, right? Long songs. Tons of psychedelic, fiery, blues rock guitar solos, thunderous rhythms, and all sorts of big, heavy, beefy, doomy, stonerific riffs. Uh, that's what these guys do. They do it really well. If you get any of their live albums, like Live at Roadburn is terrific. Uh, live in the Mojave Desert, uh, Earthless from the West. I mean, Live at Freak Valley got a bunch of live albums. They take these songs, the studio songs, and they stretch them out to like, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes, and just loads of jam. And uh, it just uh, what I love about them so much, A, I love his guitar style. I believe he plays a Strat most of the time. Uh, he loves using fuzz. He loves using the wah-wah pedal. Uh, and he's just got a great tone. He comes up with killer, killer riffs that are very, like, Sabbath-inspired. Uh, but for the most part, he just, and the guys are just thundering away behind him, and he just shoots off into the stratosphere with these guitar solos that just n never end, but you don't want them to. And how he keeps it interesting for all this time, it's just, it's, it's mind-boggling how good this guy is. Uh, it's just a really, really, really good band. Again, I've talked about him a lot. I know. 
But uh, for those of you who have yet to take the plunge into the world of Earthless, I highly recommend you do. Uh, like I said, if, you, if, you, if you're not all that interested in like instrumental stuff, then I would definitely check out Black Heaven, which came out, which is not the most recent one, but the one before it. This is more kind of like, you know, three, four, five minute long stoner rock songs with good, big, beefy riffs and vocals, right? There's that. But if you like the more jamming stuff, the more the instrumental stuff with lots of heavy riffs and explosive guitar solos, Check out any of these. Um, like I said, the, the newest one I think is my favorite, uh, but they're all really, really great and uh, just they're just relentless. Such a good band, so exciting, so different, so uncommercial. But who gives a shit, right? It's like you know, music is all about how it makes you feel, not whether it's played on you know satellite radio, or your local radio station, or you know all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, Earthless is my pick for today. My number three pick for today on my uh, 31 must-hear bands of the 21st century from San Diego, California. If you've never listened to Earthless, now is your chance. Go out and do it. Check out any of these albums. If you've been listening to me the last couple of months, talking all sorts of great things about them, and you've been getting into them, please let me know what you think about them in the comments below. And uh, stay tuned for another one tomorrow. I got uh, one for each day of the month here. So uh, stay tuned and visit us on the web at www.ctranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell as well down below in the video description. You've got the link to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations, which are all greatly appreciated, as well as a link to our merch page where you can get all sorts of cool Sea Tranquility shirts, hats, hoodies, caps, stickers, coffee mugs, all that kind of stuff. So uh, thanks for watching. I am Pete Pardo. See you tomorrow morning with another pick. My th 31 favorite. 31 must-hear bands, whatever it is. 31 must-hear bands of the 21st century, right? So uh, thanks again, I am Pete Pardo. See you then. Bye-bye.